Now it takes a lot of energy to heat up our homes, our offices and our schools and what we need to make sure is that our buildings are energy efficient and that means that they're not losing loads of energy to the surroundings where it's just being wasted. So what I have here is just a typical house um, and if we look inside there are three main ways in which, in which we can make buildings a little bit more energy efficient. Now the first thing is looking at the walls. Modern buildings often have an outside wall, an inner wall, and there's a cavity in the middle. And what we can do is we can fill this cavity with cavity wall insulation. Often this is in the form of thousands and thousands of tiny little polystyrene balls. Now what these do is these lower the thermal conductivity of that wall. Now the lower the thermal conductivity, the less heat is going to be transferred through that. The other place that we want to maybe think about insulating is in the loft space because we don't want all this heat uh, you know, sort of going up and sort of being radiated out of the roof because it's just being lost. So often this is in the form of glass fibre and the more insulation you have in the loft, once again you've got the lower thermal conductivity. And finally we can also think about installing double glazing. Now most homes do have this, uh, this these days. In the olden days or in uh, you know, some old buildings you often have a single pane of glass. In double glazing you have two panes of glass and in the middle you've got a region which is either a vacuum or it's filled with a gas which is a really bad thermal conductor. So these three ways are the main ways of making buildings that are a little bit more energy efficient. You've got cavity wall insulation, you've got loft insulation and also double glazing.